hello. <laughs> My memory card, which is supposed to be 32 gigs, is only recording up to four gigs at once. And hopefully this screen recording is working, but we are setting up my notion for November, which is, I know digital planning isn't necessarily everyone's thing, but it's definitely my thing. And when it comes to a monthly reset, this is exactly what I need to sort of figure out exactly what I need to do for the coming month. So let's get into it. So like here we are on my home base, which is kind of like a mountains theme. Um, I am gonna go through, we're gonna change this to November. But what I might do instead is just duplicate that page and change it to November. And then just delete the other one. So we're gonna see, is there an 11? No, but there are ones. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little cute little fall emoji, or maybe just a mountain for simplicity. Okay, so, I'm just gonna call it monthly goals, it's even easier. So we're gonna make sure we're gonna go back to home base. We're going to uh, delete, <laughs> I want to make a new page and we're going to drag October goals out of home base. Easy peasy, now it's gone. So let's see, there's a lot of things that I have not done specifically. Um, and some of these things I do still want to keep on here. So cleaning up my car, looking for the CRV hooks, setting up a maintenance check for my tire pressure, hiking. I did get to the fruit. I have been tracking my walking. And I have, uh, we're gonna leave that one on. <laughs> and I'm working on revamping my water. Okay, so let's see. So one thing that we're doing is we are doing a November book. I like it. That one. No spend. So that is gonna be finances. That one is in progress. So what that means is that I, for the November releases that are coming out this month, I have already pre-ordered the ones I want. So there's no, there's no, oh, I need it. I just have to have it. Like if I really had to have it, I would have thought of it. So that is there. Um, there was something else that I had been thinking about. Those are the monthly goals. I do think that I want to make, those are some things that are on my radar. I want to make sure, let's just, and check in on my yearly goals. See how that's going. Um, we did hit a thousand sales on Etsy. This one is gonna get struck through because I just couldn't go to the conference. Um, this is actually getting very personal. <laughs> um, I did complete it. I did seven of the eight weeks. I'm gonna count it for that because honestly I did seven of the eight weeks. Um, i doing a nutrition program right now. Uh, let's see, I've been doing a pretty good job about being outside. We did set up our gaming area. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see, and what if this is what if this is like the most important? I mean, this month it's a lot of financial stuff. Um, okay, let's go back. I just love this, this mountain emoji is so dang cute. Okay, so there's like, there's Mount Fuji and then there's snow-capped mountain and then regular mountain. So I already used regular mountain. We're gonna use this other cute little mountain there. Oh man, I really hope the screen recording is working. Okay, 
Um, so I have, I did part of this, that's in progress. I have found plenty of Skillshare classes that I want to take. Um, the difference is, we're gonna put a photo, oh, what's that called? Um, image, image is the word I was looking for. We're gonna use Unsplash, because I really like it. And I want to find something akin to saying like just start or do it uh, can we crop it ah oh god there we go and then we'll put some other kind of uh, probably like a to do list kind of thing. I don't necessarily think, I think that I should change this to not be to-do lists and just be bullet points. So um, we're gonna move some of these things over. Uh, I'm gonna put in here a little header, we're gonna do heading two, and this is weekly actions. I really, really, really wish that you could Oh, you can use tabs in here that you could just highlight it and have it be centered like that would be awesome you can't do that yet what you can do though is you, you can do a still do excuse you keep tabbing oh whoa okay I thought I could tab it all the way over I guess not I just want it to be center I just really like it centered that's pretty close Okay, and then in this to-do list, I can take a lot of those things. So make new read if pages, edit catch all, Ujo video, definitely have to do that. Target run for necessities, I already did that. Problem is that uh, <laughs> everything got deleted. Well, it didn't get deleted. Uh, my, I was charging my battery and I didn't have a spare battery anymore and so the video just doesn't exist. Um, so I need to do that. I also need to edit my monthly reset video. Um, I, I need to take my car for a car wash, but it's gonna rain three times this week. So we're gonna clean out the inside of my car because I have receipts everywhere. And I'm just the kind of person where like, I need to write things down or it does not happen. Um, also making some tapered chicken on Sunday. And this is just sort of the kind of thing, so I can like, I can look at, uh, you know, these to-do list items and I can figure out, okay, this is the thing that I'm gonna wanna do. Uh, I might need to call my physical therapist. I need to figure out if like it's, if my back problems right now are just because of inactivity or the weather or what, I'm still working on that. Um, let's see. No spend. Car. That CRV hooks. I just can't figure out how to install them. I might ask. I might ask Gil about that. Um, let's see. What should I do? Let's say, uh, I'm gonna take a Pilates class on Sunday because it made my back feel really, really good, honestly. I think it's all the core stuff. Um, and then I also want to, I really wanna start um, my, a watercolor sculpture class. I think that is on there. And then one last thing. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty, that's pretty good for now in terms of things that will sort of help me achieve the goals that I want for the week. No part lunches. Classic. Okay, so let's move on. So I like to just sort of check out my um, 
books area. This is all of the books that I have to read. Um, or well, maybe not all of them, but the vast majority of them. Um, we've got audiobooks, ebooks, physical books. I've actually finished that one already. Um, I don't think I've read very many physical books lately. I'm definitely into more like the ebooks and audio. Let's see if there's any of these that I've also finished. I'm currently reading Drowned Woods, which I don't have an option for that. I could add it, but I, I honestly just don't feel like it. And we're pretty good on that galley. I think I have 22. Yep, all right, so we're good on that front. Go back to my base and use designs. That is a whole bunch of business stuff that you guys don't necessarily need to see. Um, on my socials hub, there's a whole bunch of like Instagram plans and content plans. Um, but I do want to put something down here. So I'm gonna make a heading. Yeah. So I want to make a growth tracker. Make a page. And that's the, oh God, honestly, the easiest thing about Notion is just constantly being able to do this. So, growth. I really like having the kind of like graphic quotes or like sort of naturey things. This is pretty though. I really like sort of like the lens flares. We're gonna reposition it because I think I want. Yeah, I don't really want. I don't really care about that for the tree part. Actually, no, I cancel. <laughs> We're just gonna change the cover entirely. Yeah, that's the one for me. Okay, cool. So, so we're gonna make a database. Um, inline or full page? Let's see, what do we got? Timeline? Uh, no, don't want that. I think it's most likely gonna be a So we're gonna track YouTube growth and we're gonna make a copy of this one right below it. And we're also gonna track Instagram growth. So uh, we're gonna edit these properties, right? So this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a follower count and we need to change the type. It might not, it might not let me. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, boo, you whore. <laughs> okay. So this is gonna be a type and we're going to, it's gonna be a select. So we're gonna have, excuse me, January, February. that it's a number and then a month I've seen that people count like keeping track of this like how many views they're getting um, and then also the watch hours as numbers so we can do this for uh, except I, I don't want to do that I'm a subscriber so as I'm writing this, we have 836 subscribers, um, and it is October. <laughs> well, I guess, or does this count for November? I don't know. Um, so this is followers. Then I guess we want to do the same. I want to 
I'm gonna copy it again. I just don't feel like doing this. <laughs> this is why sometimes I'm just like, eh. Okay, so this is Instagram growth. Uh, it is October. Let's see. So this is gonna be follower count. All right, let's see. We're gonna look at this up on the app. So for Instagram, Instagram is pretty easy. Um, and it, it all depends, right, on sort of like the time of the month. Um, let's see, so followers, we're at 10,461. All right. And we're also gonna look at our engagement over the last 30 days. So let's see, um, this is the number we're going to do accounts engaged, we're going to do, well maybe not that one, um, I think I want, I want impressions for sure, and I think I want reach. So we've got interactions, but I really, I care a bit more about the accounts reach. So we're reaching 17,309 people. And how many impressions do we have? Yeah, so for me in October, my impressions was 75,029. So really this means like who is seeing your content, who is like, this could be likes, this could be comments, Think. Although I feel like that's also really wrapped up in engagement. So I feel like I do need to also include engagement as a stat. So we could do interactions or we could do accounts engaged. Which one's higher? <laughs> I'll do both. Okay, so my engagement, oh god, my engagement number is thousand something a thousand nineteen so that probably means that it's the same people seeing my content over and over and over again and it's a number you're also a number okay so content interactions I think is three thousand nine hundred and ninety two all right and so this is really since I'm doing I'm doing this on October 29th this is like the last month or whatever so it's through technically September. Okay, so in the last tw 298, or sorry, 28 days, we've got 596 views and 47.7 watch hours. Okay. I feel like that's, for me, pretty good given that I uploaded two videos. And then we have some wedding stuff over here that we're not gonna go into yet, at least. We've got DC trip, New England trip. We're gonna be leaving those alone. I don't even know what that is. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that page. <laughs> um, I might make like a, oh yeah, yeah, you can make pages and then put pages in pages. Um, let's see, where is that template? I'm gonna take a look at that just so I can see things that we had. Ooh, oh God, that reminds me of things I need to do now. Okay, so, uh, home base page. So, something that I need to do very soon. Early voting. If you're not vo voting, I don't know what you're doing. Vote. If you're physically able to vote, vote. <laughs> um, another thing that I want to do is set up a passport appointment and also set up a maintenance check with the dealership because it's just my check engine light is on. And I don't know why because I've, I've checked and it, the tire pressure is fine. I don't know. Um, okay, one sec. So that had reminded me, how, why did that remind me? Oh, I clicked on the full reset template. So this is everything that I had wanted to do before, uh, 2023 essentially um so let's 
I know that this is this is too much to have on like oops one list to like reasonably do but I'm one of those people where I like to just have everything in a list so that I can check things off and delete them so uh get sunsphere appointment uh buy gills christmas presents everyone else is getting i'm buying their presents next month uh because for the most part i'm gifting experiences so i'm just giving them gift cards um just a quick check okay revamping the laundry area that's gonna have to wait <sighs> okay Yeah, yeah, that's an old, old kind of template that I was making. I might remake it, but I do like this sort of database view where I can like, check things off and I can uh, sort of track based on what's in progress, what's started, what's done. Um, I think this is it. I might edit this photo though. Replace. We're gonna replace with an unsplash mountain photo. So that's the one I'm already using. Uh, let's try Purple Mountain. There we go. Um, that one's pretty pretty. This one's pretty pretty too. I think that's different than the one I have up there. Yeah, it is. So I think I want to use that one. This looks like a, like a Mac operating system. Okay, I think that that is it for my Notion update. I may come back and update some of my monthly goals. On my radar, um, there's a cra uh, craft fair coming up. Uh, there's the root and branch store opening. Um, there's Thanksgiving. And there's a DMT one shot. Those are all things that are coming up. I'm gonna start working on those, but yes, yeah, so this is that fun part of the monthly reset. We also went to Target and that was fun but expensive because I bought so many, so many blankets. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. If you want to see more digital planning, let me know. Uh, I do have a poll going on in my community tab, although no one has wanted digital planning, but yeah. So thank you for watching uh, and I'll see you next time.